Hello friends, today let's make this ping pong game in scratch using block coding. Just follow me how to make this. It's very easy. Watch my last video of coding to learn the basics of coding. Go on scratch.mit.edu and press on the create. Now it will create a new project. So, first let's delete this sprite. And now let's add a new sprite. I'll choose the paddle. Let's bring it a bit down. Now let's do coding on this. So I'll go to events and take the block that says when green flag is clicked. Then go to motion and take the block that says go to XY. This will take the current position of the paddle. Now let's go to control and take the block that says forever. Now let's go to motion and take the block that says set x2. Now let's go to sensing and take the block that says mouse x and add it. So now what this will do, whenever I will drag the mouse, this will come in the same position. Let's see. Yes, it's working. Now, let's add another sprite. I'll choose the ball. Let's drag this ball up. Now, let's do coding on this. I'll go on events and take the block that says when green flag is clicked. I'll go to motion and take the block that says go to X, Y. Now what I'll do is go to control and take the block that says forever. Now I'll go to motion and take the block that says if on edge bounce. I'll go again to motion and take the block that says move 10 steps. Let's test it. Yes, it works. Now what I want to do is whenever the ball touches the paddle, it shall bounce. So let's go on control and take the block that says if then and add it inside forever. Now let's go to sensing and take the block that says touching mouse pointer and drag it to paddle. Now, we'll go on motion and take the block that says turn right 15 degrees. Now, we'll go on operators and take the block that says pick random. It will pick a random number between these two numbers 150 or 180. Now, let's test it. Yes, it's working. Now let's go to motion and take the block that says point and direction. And change the direction to 135. This will set the direction of the ball first time when the game starts. Now let's add a sprite. I'll choose the line and add it at the very end. So when the ball touches this line, the game will be over. So let's do coding on this. I'll go to events and take the block that says when green flag is clicked and go to 
motion and take the block that says go to x y now i'll go on control and take the block that says forever inside that i'll add if then now i'll go to sensing and take the block that says touching mouse pointer and change it to ball in my previous video i've explained that what are loops and conditions in coding over here forever is a loop and if then is a condition for now let's go to control and take the bo block that says stop all now let's test it yes it stopped now let's paint a backdrop click on the text and i'm going to write game over so this will appear when the ball touches the line let's increase its size we'll just take this text at the center now we'll widen this text now let's bring it to the center now let me give this backdrop a name I am going to give this backdrop a name game over so it's easy to remember the name of the backdrop now let's go to the first backdrop and give it a name starting Now let's go to the coding of line and take the block that says switch backdrop to and change it to starting so when the game start starts the backdrop will switch to starting and we'll add switch backdrop to game over at the end so when the game ends and the ball touches the red line it, it will show game over now our game is working so let's add score to it we'll go to ball and make a variable named score now what we'll do is go to paddle and go to control and take the block that says if then we'll go to sensing and take the block that says touching mouse pointer and change it to ball so if touching ball change score by 1 now let's also set the value of the score variable to 0 when the game starts now let's test it Yes. See, the score is increasing all the time. Now, let's make the ball speed come faster. So, let's create a variable named ball speed. Variables are very important in every programming language. In my previous video, I have shown how to use variables please watch out now let's go to ball and make a variable named ball speed
Now let's take this variable ball speed and add it in the move 10 steps. And we'll also set the value of the ball speed first time when the game starts to 10. Now, let's go to paddle and take the block that says if then and add it inside this if then condition. Now, we'll go to sensing. Now, Let's do a bit of mathematics. So we'll need mode. Now what is mode? Every remainder of a division sum is the mode. So we'll also need a condition. Now what we are using the mode for? We are using the mode so every time the score increases by 5, the ball speed should increase all the time. Now let's add mod in this condition. We'll need a variable score. So we'll add it inside the mod and we'll add mod inside the condition. So score mod 5 equals to 0 then change ball speed by 3. Now let me give you some examples of mod. So 5 mod 5 is 0, 15 mod 5 is 0 and 10 mod 5 is also 0 but 6 mod 5 is 1 because the remainder will be 1. So whenever this condition will be true at 15, 10 and all this will execute inside change ball speed by 3. So now let's test it if it works. Yes, it's working. See, when, when the score equal to 5, the ball speed immediately changed to 13 so when the score will equal to 10 then the ball speed will be changed by 3 and the ball speed will be 16 now let's add a high score so let's go on variables and make a variable named high score So now let's shift this condition and go to control and take another condition and add inside this if then and then we'll add this condition inside this. Now let's go to operators and take the block that says greater than. Let's go to variables and take two variables. So if score is greater than high score, we'll add inside the if condition. If score is greater than high score, then set high score to score. We'll take score and add it. Let's see if this works. So the high score equals to score. When I press green flag again the high score will be 1 and the score equals to 0 let's test it again see the high score is 3 now now high score is 4 now I'll click it again. The score will be 0 and high score will be 4. Our ping pong game is ready. Hope you liked it. Play this game and share it with your friends.